have you ever wondered like what did your wife really need from you mm. like what would she really say if you asked her and not have to read her mind to find the answer well we're going to hopefully talk about those things and much more here on this episode of couples pursuit Hello, this is Vincent and Valerie Woodard. Woodard. And on this episode of Couples Pursuits, we're going to talk about five ways that you can become a better husband. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much Today. for hanging out with us. <laughs> we take it not lightly. Yes. Look, our goal here at Couples Pursuit is to give you the biblical principles to not only to pursue, but to maintain a successful marriage. Yes. So if you're new to our channel, we'd like to say welcome. welcome. And if you're returning, we'd like to say welcome, welcome back. back. Do us a favor, please, and hit that like button and also share this video with someone yes. you think it could help. Mm -hmm. So, babe, this topic tonight. It's uh, no, all on you. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I need some amens. I need some, some, I need some support. Need you some, know, yes, make sure I'm, right. on, no, I'm on the right. Yeah, okay, I'm on the okay. right one. So right. five ways Let's to become it. a better husband today. What's your thoughts? Just quickly off the cuff. My thoughts take me back to a men's minute that you did a couple mm -hmm. of years ago where you started to share how you could become a better husband. Yeah. And um and I watched that video and I remember commenting and saying, yes, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's something to the effect that you had done these things or, you know, just approving what you had said and um, just the miraculous, miraculous changes that you had made yeah. in our marriage. Um, we both had to change, but you really let God uh, work on you yeah. and push you, pull you, draw you into your role as a husband. Yeah, it was my desire to not only to um, become a better man, mm -hmm. but to become a better husband. Yeah. Like to be intentional about it. Mm -hmm. I think I was leaving it to chance. Like, you know, if I throw a whole bunch of stuff at the wall, you know, maybe mm -hmm. if I wash the car, maybe if I what stick, do huh? whatever, you know, a whole bunch of stuff. And I bring you flowers, I bring you candy, I bring, you, you know, it's like a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, God, show me what my wife needs, yeah, you know, from yeah. me. And um, no, I'm not a source of joy or nothing, but I, I do think I bring- You bring me joy. I bring her happiness, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I bring her joy. And I just think um, a lot of men, we are not intentional about like actively, constantly pursuing, trying to become a better husband. And um, these tips right here, it's what helped me. Mm -hmm. I know I'm not husband of the year. No, I'm not saying none of that. But I've we've talked to plenty of men. I've gave them this advice, mm -hmm. and um, they have thanked me uh, and said, you know, in the comments, some even to my face have told me, say, you know what? Yes, Vince, I appreciate that because what we've learned just doing couples pursuit, talking to women, husbands, and wives, is that okay? So. A man's number one need, you probably heard this yourself, a man's number one need mm -hmm. um, is is respect. Yeah. And respect in the form of, you know, admonishment and, and attaboy and just say, I love you, or, keep up the good job. Also respect in the fact that, you know, you respect my position um, in this relationship. Mm -hmm. And a woman, it's not like she doesn't want respect. Right. It's like it's, it's like it's not important. I'm not saying that women. I'm saying for most women, I find out it's like they want security. It's like their number one need is love in the form of security, meaning that I got your heart. Like it's mine. Yeah. 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 I got your heart, and I think a lot of men we don't give ourselves right to our spouse. You guard your hearts. Yeah, in that way. Yeah. And um. Mm -hmm. And not saying it's the right to guard your heart from your wife, but I can understand where you get to the place where you know what I've I've let my heart, worn my heart on my sheet, my sleeve. I've mm -hmm. I've given myself away, and I've gotten hurt, and I don't want to get that again. Yeah. Well, I, well, I want to let you know that this is your spouse, and she you help me if you're married. That if you're not giving yourself to them, then you're not on the path to becoming one. You're on the you, you you're trying to still be one and one you know <laughs> right it's still a partnership and yeah. not a 
not a union. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. That, that's our um our goal here with this lesson right here. So mm-hmm. look, if it's something that you think that um we touch on something you like, yeah, that's for me. Leave me a comment, and let me know. And um again, you no know, share this video. I believe this is going to help some men in your life, whether yeah. it be your brother, your sister, your husband. Um, you know, don't don't just say like, baby, you need to watch this. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. I don't know, maybe you your sister's husband. Yeah, but just say, you know, just I, this is some good stuff over there. So yeah. number one, yeah, that right. we have okay. is look, we don't. Ooh, we. Yeah, we don't <laughs> do this intentionally enough. Number one is to listen actively. I know Vince. I know you like Vince. I thought you were gonna say something groundbreaking. Profound. Number five. Oh, really? This is really, really important. Yeah. Listen actively. What does that mean? Listen with your ears, your eyes, mm-hmm. your heart, your body. Give her your attention so that when it comes time to recall that information, yeah. you're able to do that. Put your phone down, mm-hmm. look her in the eyes, listen not just for the first couple of words and then say, oh, I know. I got I, well, I got to know what you're talking And then start thinking <laughs> about that was me. whatever. That is the most frustrating thing for me to have told someone something, my husband something, and only to bring it up and he has no idea what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or the mm-hmm. date or the deadline comes and it's like, I don't know what you're talking about. Or then to be told, you didn't tell me that. Yeah. yeah. What it says to me, maybe some women, it might not be their pet peeve. What it says to me is that I, what I had to say was not important enough to hold your attention. Mm-hmm. And when you want attention from me, I give it to you. So I expect you to give it to me in return. Well, you know, like, and I'm, I'm something I'm always striving to do. Mm-hmm. I, you know, I have not arrived but at least i left so much better (laughs) at least least i have left i have left the train of trying to multitask when you're talking trying to guess what i think you're about to say finishing my thoughts Uh, yeah i'm trying to trying to assume what you meant by what you said instead of asking for clarity uh assuming what i said is what you're thinking Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 And, and and then also going past, I'm running past you. I'm thinking, I'm like, well, why does she say that? She must have felt this kind of way. And I'm still talking <laughs> and he's not hearing me. I'm explaining what he's trying to answer the questions to. And I'm like, <laughs> you just let me get there first. If you let me get it out, <laughs> turn off the engine, put it in park <laughs> and let's listen to what I'm saying, and I honestly have caught myself doing that too. So I know it goes both ways. Man, yeah. man, th- this is right here because it's going to help someone. Because so when you come home, or just any time you first see your spouse for the day, whether it be a long day or maybe just in the morning, like, mm-hmm. and you know she's ta- she's talking, like, give her that that those first fruits, those first fruits of listening without interruption. Like you, uh, you want to grab your phone. You know, because you want to check a message. You want to say, uh-huh, yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. You, 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 you instinctively want to do that because you might be doing that, you know, throughout your whole day. But I, if you try this, mm-hmm. come, please come back and let me know how this works. Because I know you're going to be like, V, my man, yeah. I did that. And her eyes just like, just looked at me like, oh, wow, you listening. You're really paying attention. Oh, wow, you're paying attention to me. I think I love him. <laughs> just look at, I mean, for real, just stare yeah. at her, just look at her and just, you know, try to imagine that, that try to follow along with her. You know, she went to the store. Okay, she got a car. She went in the store. I had, I saw so-and-so. Oh yeah, I remember so-and-so down the street. Oh yeah. And we had a long conversation and um, she's hurting. Oh wow, she's hurting. You know, I'm. I didn't go past. Or why didn't she bring her bread home? You know, why didn't she bring? Why didn't she bring? You know, it's like I'm following her through her her story to whatever she has to tell me, and I'm looking at her because I really want to get everything. So when we come back to the part where something important happened in her conversation, you I, haven't tuned her out. Hopefully, I have. I have to recall that quick enough. <laughs> 
to be able to say, yeah, oh, yeah, now I remember. <laughs> yeah. Just wait for it. She's getting around to it. Yeah. Just wait for it. And, and you do a really good job. You know, sometimes when I'm telling you a thousand things, it's like, okay, babe, okay, hold on. Because mm-hmm. I, I, I want to remember this. Let's let's talk about this first and yeah. then let's move on to the next thing. Yeah, yeah. Because we do have more words than you, but our words are still important. It's still important. It's still important. That's good. You know, I love how James 1, I love the book of James because it's like the, the New too. Testament yeah. Proverbs. There's just so many nuggets, man. But in James 1, 19, it says, everyone should be what? Quick to listen mm-hmm. and what? Slow, slow to, to speak. speak. S- slow to become angry. angry. Mm-hmm. Sometimes that was me running past her when she was telling me something and I'm like, I think I understood that part, but then I'm like running past her and thinking like, I don't understand why she's so upset. Why she mad? She should have, you know, she shouldn't feel that way. Now I'm judging her feelings. All this stuff is coming up and she's still talking. She's still talking. And he's missing it. (laughs) Missing the point. Yeah. Missing the passion. Yes. Missing the purpose of the conversation. Mm, That's good. PPP. Hey, look, that's not number one. Listen actively. Uh, Number two, look, once again you're gonna think i'm just um giving you blanket stuff but i'm just trying to tell you if you do that first one that's gonna change that's gonna change your life this second one right here is gonna add to it it's a show constant affection yeah now v what you mean my wife doesn't really like to be fondled and held and, and all that attention and affection go hand in hand if you show your wife an affection could be in whatever form she y'all it's consider her affection. type of a, what whatever, she likes yeah whatever she likes yeah if she likes and, you to caress her hair if she yeah. likes you to make her a cup of coffee in the mm-hmm. morning if she likes for you to snuggle her at night or not mm-hmm. snuggle her at night yeah. maybe you know whatever it is find out and do that yeah don't be so easy to be like you know what well, well she my wife don't like to be touched because of that one time she might have been you know on her that time of the month and mm-hmm. you um want to you know tap her smack her on the rubber on the booty and she was like oh no no i don't like that so that mm-hmm. one time so now you deem that she don't like to be touched she never wants to be touched and, and so now you don't touch it off you don't understand yeah. you didn't don't really... touch me if i'm hurting uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's you know whatever form that your spouse likes to receive affection and here we talk about husbands the way to become a better husband whatever right. way that your wife likes to receive affection look we we are those kind of beings we like to be held in touch with somebody is hurting i'm telling you they can just hear some bad news you know just somebody passed away or an accident happened or whatever you don't know what else to do but if you are pretty close with that person when the first thing you do is reach out and give them a hug you understand mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. universal yeah imagine you not hugging your wife in that way for months and weeks and months. Well, and, only, and, only, you know, as a as a means of getting to intercourse. Yeah, because you said consistent affection. Uh, she wants to be loved at all times. Yeah, that doesn't mean that you have to be physically up under each other at all times. But, yeah. but show me affection at all times. Kiss me goodbye. Look at me when you kiss me. Like kiss me passionately Mm -hmm. not just give me a peck on the cheek or a peck on the lips Mm -hmm. if there's an issue with hygiene let's talk about that brush your teeth yeah brush your teeth brush your tongue Mm -hmm. wipe your mouth get the the, onion juice off your lips when you finish eating your hamburger you know get yeah get all the crust out of your (laughs) eyes put some lotion on your on your knuckles your knees and your ankles do all those things and then touch yeah her yeah that's talk one of the, to her that's tell her you the, like i like your hair you know stroke her hair what and be be genuine about it yeah which means you're gonna have to pay attention to her yeah like look at the woman mm-hmm. <laughs> it's, 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 you'd be surprised how many men don't do that or how many women say he doesn't pay attention to me yeah i cut my hair six weeks ago he didn't even notice he didn't even say nothing <laughs> Colored I colored it. my hair orange. He hasn't said anything. It's nothing. <laughs> and look, what's one of the things that we talk when we give counseling advice? You know, it's like how how often like do you touch? Like do you, I touch? Yeah, I, I want to touch constantly. Yeah, it's his love language for one, That's but it's true. also mine. Yeah, it's my number two, right? 
Is it my number one? I thought it was number one. It's my number one in words of affirmation. Well, anyway, we are affectionate people. And if you're, I know couples who are not affectionate. Number one, I'd like them to investigate why, because affection is a natural process when it comes to romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. And it is um, not always a company. Uh, intimacy doesn't always include affection. That's true. Because sometimes people just want the means to the ends. And so we, we do all the things we cause the friction that, you know, causes mm-hmm. things to happen um, for the moment. But then after that's over, then there's nothing else until you want to cause that friction to happen again. And, and, and we need to realize that foreplay happens all day. Mm-hmm. When he leaves home in the morning, he doesn't leave without touching me, without kissing me, without saying, I love you. Mm-hmm. When he Every comes day. home in the Every evening, day. same thing. And it's not like robot practice. Mm-mm. He doesn't come in and kiss me and say, I love you. He comes in and he kisses me. We greet one yeah. another. So I, re- I really do love her. I really do. I tell yeah. him when I miss her, you know. Sometimes he doesn't. If I haven't been gone long enough. <laughs> And I'll be like, babe, did you miss me? He's like, no. <laughs> no, I don't. You, you ain't been. I said, well, let me go back out. Let me go back out. <laughs> See, I, I know, tend to, I I tend to get busy and, and be out sometimes. And yeah. so I like to egg him on about that. But but yeah, and not acknowledge each other's presence. Acknowledge your wife's mm-hmm. presence when she comes in the house. Look up from what you're doing. Get yeah. up out of your seat. Go greet her. Do you need mm-hmm. me to bring anything in from yeah. the car? You know, how was your day? You know, just care. Yeah, yeah. So that's our number two is show constant yeah. affection and um and be intentional about that too. I, I, I'm guarantee, man, you're gonna be like Vince. You added some years to our marriage. Yeah. Just those one and two right there. Three mm-hmm. is is look. It's a real one. Is to be transparent. Like, what do you mean? Just just like now, it's a kind of a running joke when I Babe, say do this. Um, share the scripture. Oh, the scripture. Two. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Song of Solomon. Mm-hmm. Two, book six. of romance. Look, it's a whole book of romance, but mm-hmm. they put this in the Bible. This part right here, this verse right here in the Bible, it just, it says his left arm is under my head mm-hmm. and his right arm embraces me. Mm-hmm. Like she th- she thought enough like that touched her so much. She was talking about the, the um, Shulamite woman in the in the Bible, mm-hmm. but she, it touched her so much that they made it a verse in the Bible that the fact that he just put his hand under my arm. And, and and then he caressed me with his other hand and mm-hmm. held me. I'm mm-hmm. I'm putting that together. Like it's gent- it's that gentleness. important. Yeah, it was that it left that much of an impression mm-hmm. that we know what we're gonna write this down. <laughs> yeah, and in the Song of Solomon, it's like a poem. You yeah. know, it's a love, a book of 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 love, romantic expression between mm-hmm. a man and a woman from a man and a woman's point of view, and it's yeah. very passionate and intense and and um sensitive yeah and so what makes it more special for a woman is that you take the time to caress her to you know to hold her to pay attention to her and again not every woman wants that some women are like nope let's just get to it (laughs) and that's fine if that's how they feel but there are often times when if a woman does feel that way there's some Thing behind that yeah there's something behind that the fact that she doesn't be want to be touched yes and, and there's some things that you have to dig a little deeper on yeah um and i and it would be beneficial to you to understand the why because you don't want to do anything to jolt or give um you know a reaction that that's not affectionate um yeah. to her yeah so um and i, I want to add also if you are the husband who finds it difficult to be affectionate, you need to investigate that for yourself as well. Because just because you didn't grow up like that or I didn't see my parents do that doesn't mean that your wife doesn't still want or need that or in that it won't bless your marriage. That's that's good, baby. That's good. That's good. Three, Mm -hmm. um, to be transparent. Yes. Now, Ephesians 4.25 tells us that therefore each of you must put off falsehoods and speak in and speak truthfully to your neighbor. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a, this is as close as my neighbors is gonna get. That's right. I'm your first. I put off <laughs> falsehoods, right? And I speak truthfully mm-hmm. 
to mm-hmm. her. And I, and it goes back to what we talked about. You know, we had this joke for playing. It's like, do you, did you miss me? I'm like, no, you haven't been gone long. It just, we were, but it's just like, I want to say every time like a robot, did you miss me? Yeah, I mean, Yes, oh my yeah, gosh. I mean, oh, can't believe you were <laughs> no, talking to the food. Like, how long, how far how long did you go to the grocery store? <laughs> You've been gone for 32 minutes. No. We're, we, we, we try to be very transparent <laughs> with each other yeah. and just be honest. Mm-hmm. And um, even when we're talking to go kind of tie, um, listen actively and show constant affection is like um, to be transparent. Even when something like she says something, I'm like, hold on, baby. Let me. I want to finish understand. this thought first. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's like I want to try to be Slow transparent. Down. I don't understand. I'm not following you right now. Mm-hmm. You know, and and. Um, and that also goes to so many other things that I just want to be, I want to be, I, I want us to be so raw and honest to one another. Mm-hmm. Like, so sometimes when you're having a conversation and you're trying to get your words right, I kind of like tell babe, I said, look, babe, I don't, this might not come out quite right, but I'm just going to tell you what's on my mind. Mm-hmm. And, and then you can maybe help me work through, you know, what, you know, work mm-hmm. through what, what we're going to do about the situation right you know because i don't want to because some people say well i said it and that's what i meant that ain't really what i meant i said it because i was trying to get to what i meant <laughs> and it didn't really i was still working out. it out <laughs> <laughs> so i tell babe i said babe this, this is this i don't know how this is going to come out right here I, I, but i don't want to be transparent and let you know that i'm trying to, to tell you what i mean <laughs> Even though I don't quite know what I meant. Let me give you an example, right? <laughs> and this is really good. It blessed me because he said to me, he said, how can I tell you that I don't like what, what just happened? <laughs> and so what he did was diffuse it. Like, I wanted to share that I don't really care <laughs> for you to do that anymore. But how would you like to hear <laughs> that I don't like it? <laughs> and I was like, just like that. Just like That's that. good. Because it wasn't. It wasn't, I wish you wouldn't blow the horn twice when you want me to come out and get groceries. I feel like you're rushing me. You know, instead of him saying that, you could just get them yourself. I was busy. Ooh. I'm doing something. I was in the bathroom. I was taking a shower. How you know I wasn't, you know, he didn't come with that because he felt rushed. And in, in, in all actuality, I thought I had missed the horn the first time. So I, bump, bump, I did it again. And then I needed to use the bathroom. So I'm like, yep. come help me. <laughs> And, but he couldn't understand Please. all of that. And so it just sounded like, hurry up. And that's not really what I was saying. Yeah. I was saying, help me, yeah. not hurry up. But that's what we're doing. We're, we're being yeah. transparent. When, yes. Uh, but and, instead of getting mad, getting the stank attitude, we talked about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that, that's yeah. the goal to always be that that way that you can just tell her, you know, talk to her about anything yeah. and have conversations about anything. Um, even when you don't quite really know you know the answer to it, I I'm feeling this way. I want to talk to you about this, mm-hmm. and uh, but I don't want us to have a falling out. It's like it's right. always my goal. We're not going to agree to disagree yeah. before we even start to try to agree. <laughs> Let's talk about it the so we can come to an agreement. Agreement. Is, I don't want to fall out. Yeah, the agreement. Yeah, is the agreement goal. is the goal. Exactly. That's good, baby. Yeah. Uh, number four is yes. to be reliable. Mm-hmm. Look, if you say something, do it, please. If you don't know if you can do it, tell them. I bet I don't I'm, know if I can. I don't know if I can. But don't let that be a cop out. Yeah, no. Just if you if you if you really mean it, you say it, and and that all the intention. You know, when the man is trying to pursue a woman, man, he'll move mountains. You know, he'll um pull up potholes. He'll do whatever he things. got to do to get what he wants. Yeah. But when it comes time, you. You know, being on time for a family function, you said you was gonna be on time. You said you was coming in the first place, and you know, you you sleep, you play a video game, you watch a football. Ooh, I don't know what you're doing. Please don't be playing but video you, games <laughs> when you're supposed to be somewhere. But you you have every excuse in the book. <laughs> yeah, to not, and you're not reliable. She can't trust you, and her family's looking at you like, why are you marrying him? I'm I'm really going there because oh, yeah. some of y'all men don't say what you mean really mean you say things to appease your wife your spouse and you're not really honest with the fact you know what I, i'm gonna do my i'm gonna do my very, very bad i got such such going on but i'm gonna move this around i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that and baby if i'm not there all that specific time i'm coming i'm re- be reliable you're gonna yeah. say it do it be on time Absolutely. follow through with your commitments yes keep your word yeah Keep your word so that she can trust you. Because when he was talking about safety before, it's not necessarily security. It's not just 
financial security. Mm -hmm. Women want the security of knowing that he's going to be who he yeah. says he is, where he says he's going to be, do what he says he's going to do, mm -hmm. and keep my best interest at the front. Exactly. Exactly. Because he's given, the husband is given that charge to care for the wife as Christ as Christ cares for the, the body, the bride, which is the church. And I am his bride. Mm -hmm. I am. That's right. To him mm -hmm. as the church is to Jesus Christ. That's right. That's the, uh, the, and the uh, word says, it says also, I'm sorry, honey, I want to finish the okay. phrase. And he gave himself for it. Yeah. So that means, yes, you do have to change. You do have to make concessions. You do have to adjust and and become one with her. Yeah, she does also. Mm -hmm. But your responsibility is different than her responsibility. Hers is respect. Mm -hmm. That respect is going to encompass love. If she respects you, there is no 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 love without respect. Yeah. Yeah, she shows respect yeah. in the form of submission. Yeah. And you show se security in the form of love. You're mm -hmm. you're loving her because you don't want anything to happen to her. You you're that concerned about her feelings. Yeah. And her security. Her well being. I love yes. how Proverbs twenty and six says, Many claim mm. to have unfailing love, Ooh. but a faithful person who can, who can find. Many mm. claim to be that way. You know, be the person that you know what, baby, I I I Excuse I'm going me. to always try to be a man in my word. And if I can't, I'm going to tell you that I couldn't. I'm not going to hide. I'm not going to run, run and try to mm -hmm. be like, and like I didn't say it or make a gaslight. I'm not going to do none of yes, that. Yes, make you think you're crazy. I never yeah. told you that. <laughs> <laughs> Negro. Okay, uh, the last one. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, last one is, look, and I, uh, and this is, I think this, this is, is one huge. of the most important ones, is to be emotionally available Oof, yeah Be, make yourself a lot of men shy away from being vulnerable with our spouses like we don't want to tell them the real gritty raw thing that's going on yeah. inside of us mm -hmm. and we're thinking we're sometimes we're thinking that we're protecting them by not letting them see that side of you yeah. it's a messy part you know it's like that company that comes over and you don't want them to see that third bedroom that that, that last well, you room keep all the stuff or that closet you know <laughs> the clutter room it's like you know and it's like you say make yourself at home but don't go in don't. There. <laughs> and that's how it is with your re relationship yeah it's like baby i love you and i'm gonna be your husband but don't ask me about my childhood Oof. but don't ask me about my last relationship all my relationships you know, I don't want to talk about my mom and my dad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's, you know, and I know it could be sometimes for some people a touchy subject as far as um, they still haven't quite got the solid ground. I say touchy because when they touch it, it sparks a nerve. They haven't really quite got a place where it doesn't hit a nerve when they talk yeah, about it's it. still tender. Um, mm -hmm. But that doesn't, I don't think it's going to be beneficial for you in the long run to keep hiding that part yeah. from your spouse. You should work to... And my wife said earlier, don't don't fight the process of becoming one. Yeah. You should that's that's our goal. That's yeah. that's our goal. It's a, it's the principle that God said that if I cleave, if I leave my father and mother and cleave to my wife, mm -hmm. the principle is that we shall become the one. Two shall become the two one. shall become one. And so, guess what? I'm sorry, finish your thought. No, baby. I'm just saying that that's the don't fight that process. Yeah, don't fight the process. And then what happens when you when you are able to be vulnerable and share your feelings with your wife, it's going to bless you. Yeah. Because she is supposed to be your soft place, mm -hmm. right? You're spo supposed to be able to rest your head in her bosom. Mm -hmm. And my husband can cry with me. Obviously, he can laugh with me, but mm -hmm. you need more than just the surface comfort mm -hmm. feelings. Because if you don't take them to her, who are you going to take them to? Yeah. Where, where will they land? Will they will they be pushed down and then turn into bitterness, anger, resentment? Yeah. Or can you share them and be vulnerable and then you release them? Even if you need to release tears, do that. Mm -hmm. Release the tears. It doesn't make you a crybaby. It doesn't make you a wimp. If you need to release pressure yeah. emotionally by crying. If someone has died, you lost a job that 
you know, took care of your entire household and it was unfair to you or some things happened. You ha there's a moment that you can take and be vulnerable with your wife, with your spouse, and then you can pull it back together. And then when she allows you to do that, doesn't it bring you closer together knowing yeah. that, you know, and you have to have the kind of wife who is not going to be like, shut up. You know, you're a punk. You don't pull it together. You know, what do you suck mean? Yeah, suck it up. What do you mean you crying. lost your job? Stop okay. My bosom. Stop yeah, get off my chest. <laughs> right? You don't no, want to be. <laughs> because, I mean, I hear I hear the question. I hear the question. So I mean, be like, well, I tried it with my wife. Yeah, my wife. Like, she looked ain't. at me all funny, like, you know. And, you need um, to handle it. Well, then that's, that's where... Um, conversation we talked about earlier security the security yeah. is that we they want to feel secure mm -hmm. in you mm -hmm. and um so we that's our first goal is to make them is to have them feel secure when you are around yeah me crying is not saying i'm scared and even though i'm scared it, it's that's not an saying, empty emotion yeah, yeah. it could be temporary it's not saying that some, like i don't i don't care about your feelings i just want to you know emote and crying cry my feelings mm -hmm. it's about i feel i can share this with you this yeah. is something that's in my heart yeah and um you know i love how in first peter three and seven instructions that husbands in the same way be be considerate as you live with your wives and mm -hmm. treat them with, with respect. respect you know we're saying that that's what number one number one need for a man but mm -hmm. that's also a need for a woman a woman wants to feel respect she wants to feel that you are you are emotional you are vulnerable you are man enough to be, to be emotionally, emotionally vulnerable. vulnerable that's good there, babe. You go. there you go that's so good <laughs> because it is not true that you don't have this you men and women have the same set of emotions yeah they use them differently men often will cover their emotions and nobody wants a wimpy crying uh whining husband mm -hmm. Someone who that's always the go-to. Every time I every time I turn around, you cry. Who you crying for? <laughs> What's wrong with you? The, the, the cow, we the got an emotional imbalance. We need to go talk to somebody. <laughs> you know, but but in in you know in extreme circumstances, in circumstances that warrant it, in a situation where you may feel upset because sometimes people feel like women cry all the time. I don't. You no, know, she don't. You know, but if I feel. If tears come, they come. Yeah, I mean, she cries more than I do right. about situations. Yeah, but I I do also know that I I'm, I feel so you know like when a guy is is um, courting a lady mm -hmm. and you know when the first time when your girlfriend at the time for she became your wife might have cried like you you didn't feel like wow she a cry baby you kind of felt like wow she feels that safe around me that mm. she can like let her feelings go. Mm -hmm. You know, she she can she can she can feel that um she vulnerable. Trust me with yeah, she her trusts emotions. me with her emotions and yeah. and she you know she cried, you know. Mm -hmm. Last night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> me and my woman. <laughs> Come on back. <laughs> we got to go do y'all know we got, OJ's? To the OJ. <laughs> we got to get out of here let, we can let me that because we married yeah we married <laughs> <laughs> it just it just came work it was way from the recesses of your mind wow. that is the song from when we were children but that just goes to show you got to watch what you put in because it will come out just stay, just stay in there <laughs> So I thought I brought the big up early. Get the oh code. my god! Anywho, come back, husband. Five, come back. <laughs> uh, the five we talked about are to be a better husband is yes. to listen actively. Yes. Show consistent affection. Mm -hmm. Um, being transparent, transparent mm -hmm. uh, and being reliable and emotional available. Emotionally available. Yes, 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 yes. All those contribute to being a better husband to your wife and having them feel your love in the form of security yes so i hope this helps you and we talk about you know a lot of the fact that men and women they um have five years they might have a lot of symptoms going on in mm -hmm. their marriage mm -hmm. and all these are, can be like symptoms of an issue if they're abused if you're not doing them right but there's if you get to a, the five roots of an issue everything kind of funnels down to either you're not you're not honoring the covenant in your marriage. Mm -hmm. You're not honoring the commitment in your marriage, the trust in your marriage. You're not actively pursuing better communication in your marriage. Mm -hmm. and you're not staying connected in your marriage. And you're not recalibrating or calibrating 
your marriage as needed, not adjusting it as needed. And we talk about that in this new book that we have called yes. Five Marriage Mandates. We actually having a book signing this weekend. I don't know yes. when you'll see this video, but September we'll 21st, we'll put the link in the chat. We'd love mm-hmm. to see y'all, you know, hug your neck. And until then, if you see this after that date right there, um, buy this copy. Buy it yeah. for you. Buy it for someone that, if you're not married, still buy it for you. Uh, also buy for a gift for someone else. They need this. They need to know these five Who wants to be married, marriage is married, mandates. who's going through trouble in marriage, yeah. who isn't married but wants to get married again, could yeah. be a widow. Um, it's God's way mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. The, the biblical principle. This, this is a book. It's a book about biblical principles to help anyone, anyone overcome, overcome any, any marital challenge. Yes. The, uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, you need this. Yes, even if your marriage is g- good, my marriage you have a is great good. marriage. E- recalibration. You yes, you know you need this. Make an adjustment. Yeah, these are, you get these five roots right, right. This is what we call heading towards successful marriage. All right, so th- baby, we're done. We're gonna take us home. Okay, well, we just want to pray, Father. We thank you for you all joining us tonight. We thank you for your goodness, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you, God, for the institution of marriage, which is a gift to us, oh God, for the purpose that you have brought us together, Lord, mm-hmm. is to further your kingdom, to build love lasting loving relationships and father i pray right now for those who um are struggling in their marriages oh god that they would turn their faces toward you Mm -hmm. so that they can come closer together and i also pray god for those who want to be married that they will seek you first Mm -hmm. your kingdom and all of your righteousness seek your principles concerning marriage so that they can walk into a healthy relationship i thank you father for those that are struggling tonight oh god that they will have the faith to trust Trust you and draw closer to you so that they can look to you and overcome their personal challenges and then together overcome their challenges as husband and wife. Mm-hmm. And Lord, as always, I ask that you would bless them, keep them, make your face shine upon them, Lord. Be gracious to them, oh God. Lift up your countenance towards them and give them peace. Keep them from all hurt, harm, danger, sickness, disease, virus, and every evil influence. Mm-hmm. And we ask you for this in the name of Jesus, we pray. And until Amen. next time, we'll see you here on Couples Pursuit Live. Check the chat for the link to get your copy of the Five, Five Marriage, Marriage Mandates. Mandates. And you can also go to fivemarriagemandates.com to Amen. order. Amen. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching this episode of Couples Pursuit Live. If you enjoyed this video, here's another one we think you'll like.